Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Akakudash, the Pawanas of the Apostles, and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Lek out there, doing his work of faith and live with love and truth and sincerity. All right, now I wanted to get into a, a quick topic. Um, I think I'll entitle this lesson uh, America, You Have Hell to Pay, you know, and, um, you know, just based upon everything that this land has done to us, man. You know, the rape, robbery, the murder, you know, uh, just spoiling us as a people, you know, bringing us down to this low extent, you know, and which, <laughs> I mean, Israel has been bad, man. But here in Babylon, I mean, Israel is bad, bad, man. You know, like this, the level of zombiness amongst our people is at an all time high, you know, and just talking to people on an everyday basis, man, you just vex every single time you got to talk to your own people, man. And, and it, it's ridiculous, man. It really is, you know. But it's, it's all due to who? The so-called white man. I mean, we can't, you know, of course, can't take accountability away from us, you know, going off according to the most high and things being the most high's will. But, you know, ultimately, man, hey, man, <laughs> we going to blame me, so, man. We going to blame me, so, right? Um, oh, damn, so lucky. What was I going to start at? Um, yeah, this is, uh, <clears throat> second, that's just 15. And, um, and I want to start at, uh, verse 10 and it says, behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with the mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. And I will draw, destroy all the land thereof. All right, so what our people is led as a flock to the slaughter. Why? Because, and, and this, this is a prime example. This scripture right here is a prime example of why we have to blame Esau. Because Esau knows, you know, all of the things of old. They know who they are. They know who we are, the elites that is. And with knowing that, they know how, if, if you know how to uh, a herd sheep, and, and how to take care of sheep and how to get them to follow, you know, how they're supposed to go. You're going to know how to deal with the Israelites, man. And that's one key thing that Esau knows. He knows that we will follow any damn thing, man. That's why the Lord said this. Uh, um, it's like a damn, uh, <clears throat> I thought I pulled up the, uh, the other app. Where's the other app? Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's, this is why the Lord said this. Um. Yeah, Isaiah, real quick. Isaiah 2, and, um, what am I looking at? Hold on, I'm in Isaiah 1, it's like it. Yeah, Isaiah 1, and, um, I'll start, I'll start from the top. Isaiah 1 and 1, the vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, uh, which he saw, uh, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah of Jotham, of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord hath spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. Okay? So the animals, they know where they belong to, but Israel, we don't know who we belong to. And Esau knows this. This is the whole point of them uh, stripping away our nationality from us, according to Psalms 83. So we, we got to get all the way into this and, and break this thing down, man. You know, because all of this is a part of it. You know, these are basic scriptures, but this just goes to show you how they knew how to work everything. And now look at the scriptures in which we just pulled. You know, look at the scriptures in which we just pulled. Esau has the, uh, because we're, we're in Esau's world, we're in his, his uh, heaven right now. So he knows the keys to his kingdom. He has the keys to his kingdom. And he knows his ultimate key to his kingdom is to keep us down as a people. So that the Mosai, all right, the Mosai, uh, uh, somewhat, is, and in their eyes, seems like he's delaying his coming. Or like if we keep these people away, you know, from calling on him, then it won't happen. That's what's in their mind, you know. So they know what to keep us away from who we are, you know. So uh, just going to this real quick. Psalms 83 and 1. Psalms of Asa, a Psalm of Asa, uh, 
a song or a psalm of Asaph, keep not thou silence, O Yahweh, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Yahweh, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thine hidden ones, right? Thy hidden ones, Israelites, right? They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. And then it goes what to list all the nations that are against us. And that's pretty much every damn nation upon the face of this earth. So they knew that they had to remove our name out of remembrance from our minds, from us calling, coming back to who we truly are, and ultimately us calling back on the name of Yahweh and the name Yahweh Shai, man. So they knew that this was the key for them to keep their rule in power, for them to stay with the full strength and the fortitude of mind, and for us to be down and out, and for them, uh, them to use us as the working class as nothing but the music and to constantly keep us down on the bottom, man. This is the whole definition of a conspiracy here, man. <laughs> You know, with the breath conspire, with breath being basically on one accord, starting off with Esau and all of these other nations. So you damn right, they got a lot to pay for, man. You know, hey, the, the scriptures talk about what they forwarded the when our uh, iniquity came to an end, they forwarded the affliction, man. You know, so it's because of them we still going through this shit, man. I mean, ultimately we know it's the Lord's will. You know, but as I said, hey, who we blame? We got to blame Esau, man, because he is the devil that the Bible speaks of, right? So, um, damn, Shlocky, what, what was I at? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, go back to um, 2nd Ezra 15 <clears throat> and 10. I'll read this again. Uh, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. So, as I was saying, <laughs> you know, according to uh, Isaiah, uh, the first chapter, <laughs> you know what? Israel is considered the sheep the sheep will follow any damn thing so they easily led to the slaughter esau knows this hey i put this in front of them i dangle this little medallion in front of them i dangle this little money in front of them they're going to follow they're going to uh, commit spiritual fornication against the most high you know they're not going to be able to come back to the most high once we once we put this sweet meat in front of them you know i will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of egypt because what now is that time now is the uprising of the israelites and the proof of that is us brothers being out there on the highways and hedges you know throughout the four corners of the globe all over you know waking up right but i will bring them with the mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land